Scientists say they have finally built a sensor sensitive enough to listen in on the brain's quietest chemical whispers. Here is what happened and why it matters. On December 23, 2025, SciTech Daily covered a Nature Methods paper announcing iGLUS NFR4, a new genetically encoded sensor for the neurotransmitter glutamate. Glutamate is the main chemical messenger used at excitatory synapses in the brain. But until now, tools have mostly captured only big, averaged signals or the electrical spikes that happen after many inputs add up. The new sensor, created by Kaspar Podgorski and colleagues at the Allen Institute and Janelia Research Campus, is sensitive and fast enough to detect tiny rapid glutamate bursts at single synapses. In animal experiments, the team used iGlu SNFR4 to watch how hundreds of inputs onto a neuron add together over milliseconds before the cell decides whether to fire. That gives researchers a direct window into the input side of neural communication, rather than guessing from outputs alone. Because disrupted glutamate signaling is linked to epilepsy, Alzheimer's disease, schizophrenia, and autism, being able to see exactly where and when signals go wrong could reshape how those disorders are studied. Drug developers might also use the sensor to test how experimental medicines change synaptic communication in real time. I think tools like iGlu SNFR4 are crucial building blocks for finally connecting brain wiring diagrams to actual computations and behavior. They also show how basic tool making in biology can, over time, ripple outward into better diagnostics and treatments for brain disease.